No, look, there's fish in here. Oh, look, there's an African cichlid. No, we got one. Oh, there he is. Guys, look, there he is. I think I can. Did I get him? I got him. No, there he is. Look, there he is. He's literally dying right now. Guys, look. Look, he's gasping for air. A little snap. Dude, he broke the trap. That is so insane. Out of the monster fish pond. Welcome back to Rob Squaz, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing the abandoned pond for some pond monsters. However, we're not only going to be fishing this pond right here. We're going to set a trap right here for real quick in a second. But before we begin the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. So right behind me, guys, is the monster fish pond. We've been catching pond monsters out of here like crazy. Big catfish, big paku, all sorts of species of monster aquarium fish. We've been able Able to pull out of this here pond so in today's video guys I'm going to be setting the trap I don't have the biggest trap so I really don't know how successful will be but right here guys we got my umbrella trap now I'm gonna throw it down there the weather is doing its thing and you can see this property has been completely just destroyed also low-key I don't know if we're gonna be interrupted or cut off prematurely because not only are there people right there, but as I was pulling in, guys, one of the construction workers actually pulled into the property as well. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be fishing here or not, so we'll see what happens. But we're going to set the fish trap right here. I already got it baited up with my classic cat food. Now we're going to head over to this other pond because actually last time I was here, guys, I noticed something kind of interesting. There's this puddle, right, connected to, oh, look. See, we might have some issues coming down the line. But regardless, we're gonna try to do our best to save some fish out of these ponds. Yeah, I'll get this fish trap set and we're just gonna jump right into it because I really don't know what's gonna happen with this guy being here. You know, the gang stalkers, he might get aggressive with me. Who knows, he seems to be pulling around. So uh, we're gonna set the fish trap and get right into the video. This trap isn't too deep, but I do have it anchored down with this branch. I buried it into the substrate, so I'm hoping this does actually keep whatever turtles and big fish from pulling the trap all the way in the water. We're gonna let this sit, and we're gonna head over to that other pond over there to see if we can't catch any fish out of the ponds. There's this weird puddle, guys. I'll show you in a second. I don't know if the hot weather actually dried it out. But regardless, we're gonna pop over there and see what's up. So we just made the trek over here, guys, and this is exactly what I was worried about. The water level at this pond, guys, was all the way up here. And out, over time, they piled in a bunch of dirt and all that stuff. They took down all of the trees in this area. Literally, you could see the road from here and left this puddle. The water level used to be this high. There used to be like a good foot and a half of water. So I had actually brought my big net because I was expecting to have to like reach down pretty far in there but it looks like after all the hot weather it's been like super hot weather and then a lot of rain on and off it's been crazy summer we're in like a heat wave right now I'm pretty sure so it dried this place out so actually that's really bad we're gonna grab a smaller net and come back to it and fish this little puddle to see if we can actually pull up any fish from here I don't know if there's any fish in there I didn't check when I first found it but we're gonna see if we could find anything real quick before we go back to the car and actually get a little net We're gonna see if there's actually even any fish in here because if not, we're just gonna go to another pond Oh, no, look, there's fish in here. Oh, oh, oh my god. It smells so bad It smells like but dusty but look there's a bunch of small little fish in here I can't see any color So I don't know if there's anything worth keeping but the least we could do guys is grab these fish from this pot Like little puddle right here This mud pond and put them into the actual pond and I think the rain's starting to pick up Oh, no, it's been thundering all ever since I got here and the lighting is pretty trash But we are gonna grab the little net real quick guys We're gonna try to net up everything that could be in here. I could see a little fish right there Not quite too sure what it is. Oh look there's one right up here. Let me see if, oh, it's a little bass. Oh, where did he go? Oh, God, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna try to remove all the debris and we're gonna get a little net and start running. Oh, look, there's an African cichlid. Here, can I catch it with my hand? No, oh, okay, so there's actually fish in this little mud pond. I'm gonna run back to the car and grab a small net that I could actually work through there because there's a lot of the debris that my bigger net can't actually get through. That's incredible. All right, perfect, perfect time to save them from this place and at least get them in the bigger body of water. Oh God, it's starting to rain, but I got this smaller net, guys. Whoever got this off the wish list, comment down below so I could thank you. It actually didn't come with the note, so I don't know who sent this, but it was on my wish list, so thank you for that. We're gonna jump down here right now and start netting. Oh, it's not very deep. Oh, there's stuff down there, though. What did we just catch? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a little tilapia. Okay, not a cool fish, but still a nice find, and we're just gonna run all these fish into the pond over here. Kobe, yep, there we go. Oh man, it is really picking up, guys. Because my camera is, you know, rain sensitive, I will have to take a little break, wait for the rain to go. This should pass over pretty soon. So, 
Worst case scenario, I honestly just, you know what? Nah, that's quitter talk. We're not going in. We're not going in. I'm not hiding in my car. We have fish to save. I can't believe you guys would have let me just quit like that. We're going to jump down here. We saw an African cichlid in here, so who knows what else might be in here. And I don't know. Oh, look at that. Some tilapia and any African cichlids. Ew. Oh, wait. Oh no. Oh, these are baby bullfrogs as well. Okay, we're gonna get these guys in the other pond as well. Just because we don't want the baby bullfrogs to die out. And luckily this net has a super fine mesh. So they should be able to survive as well. Florida, Florida just on one. It's literally a sun shower right now. But we're just gonna do a gentle release because of the baby bullfrogs. Those are a native species. They're not cane toads. We want the bullfrogs to live. And we're just gonna jump right back in here. Do the best we can to net. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of tilapia in here and a lot more little baby bullfrog. That's really cool. I hope we could catch some of those African cichlids we saw. Oh no. Oh, look at this baby bass. Are you okay, brother? Here, come in the net. Oh, he's not looking too good, but there's a baby bass in here as well. We're gonna get him in the big pond also. Now this pond might get filled in. They haven't done it yet. So regardless, we're at the very least, we're buying them time. Oh, it is really picking up. Oh my God. Oh no. It is really picking up. I brought a bucket with us too to fill up the cooler in case we do catch anything we want to keep. Oh, okay. You know what, guys? I think I have to wait this out. It picked up a lot. It might start pouring even harder. So we'll leave the equipment here and we'll come back to it in just a couple minutes. Well, for you, it'll be like a second. I lied. We're going to stick it through. I just checked the radar and it said it's going to be intermittent over the next two hours. I'm not going to wait two hours to save these fish out. I don't know if they even have two hours. So we're just going to jump right back in it and see if we can't pull up anything cool. Um, regardless, we're going to be saving fish. So that's win and then at the end guys we'll check our little trap over in that pond hopefully it doesn't get taken out to the great abyss that is the big monster fish pond but we're gonna net this shallow stuff right here ow oh my god i just got impaled by this brain let's see anything in here no nope. god i really want to find those oh 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 no it sinks they could be under this stuff too a lot of little bullfrogs we'll keep them in the net for the time being Oh man, we literally saw an African cichlid in here. We know they're around. There's a lot of little stuff in this though. It's gonna be able to block us. And African cichlids are notoriously good hiders. Oh, we just found another fish. Oh, it's a tilapia. We're gonna get him back in the pond real quick. Oh no, oh, these shoes are ruined. Whatever, who cares? Let's see, any fish in here? Nope, just the bullfrogs. I'm gonna take out these coconuts because they're getting in our way. Because the African cichlids could even be hiding in between these. Like, they're very, very good. At using, oh, my God. Imagine if there was one in here. <laughs> Let's find out. He could. They could. They do love to hide. Nope. Not in the coconut. I love balls. Psych. But we're just going to get all this stuff out of here. Jump right back into it. More bullfrogs, so not quite too sure where the African cichlids are. I literally like tried almost caught one with my hand. So I know they're around, but this net is actually breaking under the pressure. So we might have to switch to the stronger net. Oh, these bullfrogs, oh my God. I was just taking a quick breather and then I saw an African cichlid surface. So hopefully he comes back for air again. That's another thing, guys. This thing probably has very little oxygen. So wherever he is, hopefully we could get him. Oh, there he is. Look, wait, is that it? I don't know what that was. What is that? Oh, lame. It's a tilapia. Regardless, get him back in the water. Actually, that might be a bluegill. Not an African cichlid. I really want to get the African cichlids out of here because they're really cool exotic aquarium fish. But this gets deep, so. Who knows where these guys are hiding at? Ooh, I just saw another fish. This net's trying to break up. Oh, what is that? Oh, I don't think that's what I saw, but look. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah, as you guys know, if you're a subscriber to this channel, this pond right here is literally full of these exotic angelfish. This guy is beautiful. He's got that really, oh, wow. He is truly a gorgeous fish. So we're gonna get this guy in our keeper cooler real quick. That's pretty crazy. That's actually really sick. Well, actually, no, it's not. Because we weren't able to catch any of the African cichlids we saw so far. And now there's angelfish in here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That means there's, <laughs> there might be a lot more fish to save. Ugh. That net also just broke on me, and I don't think I'm equipped to fix it right now. So we're gonna get this guy in our little buck uh, cooler, and 
Yeah. It's been a long, long time since we caught one of the parents, but this is a beautiful angelfish. Just got water from the pond adjacent to it, so he should adjust well. That is actually really sick. Hopefully the sunlight helps me catch some more fish. Because now that the rain passed and I'm soaking wet, now I'm getting cooked by the sun. Please like and subscribe. Oh, they're working me like a dog out here. We also got this much, much bigger net. Again, they didn't include the wishlist note with it. So whoever got this for me, please leave a comment. Thank you. But this one isn't broken yet. True, I really do try my best not to break them, but oh, oh, I think I just saw a little fish. They could be hiding in these little corners under this trunk that I haven't been able to hit yet. But I can't imagine the net this big, we could be missing them. Oh, yes, look. Oh, that is perfect. Look at this guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, look. I knew I saw one. I saw an orange one, and there's also a water drop on the lens. But this is a beautiful fish, guys. I'll clean the lens and get him in the cooler. Big net is definitely the move. That is a gorgeous little fish. We'll kick the aerator on them soon. But look at that African cichlid, guys. What a beauty. We're going to get him added in right there. Oh, he's looking pretty good, considering he was just in that pond right there. All right. So big net seems to be the move. We cleared out most of the debris. So maybe they just aren't able to swim as fast away from this because it covers more area. Stuck on something? Anybody home? No. We're gonna try our best to just work this through here. No fish in that net. Oh man, I saw an orange African, so. I know there's one more in here at least. I'm not too sure though, because now I'm, I'm not able to actually catch them. But I could have sworn I saw one. Like I literally did, you guys saw it too. I'm not off my meds, guys. I am not seeing things. He's literally in here somewhere. He could be in the shallow one, maybe. Oh, 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 he, no. Oh. We got one, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, that's an African cichlid. Look at that, he came up out of the water. He got spooked. This is also not orange. How many of these guys are in here? Look at that. I don't know what kind of African cichlid this is. But that is beautiful. Look at this guys, another African cichlid. Also not orange. I literally saw an orange one. How are you doing buddy? Oh, he's not doing as hot. He seems like he'll recover. This guy's doing pretty good and that angelfish looks good. But now they're starting to come up. Maybe I'd argue this little rescue mission is actually going pretty well. So let's see if we can pull anything else up in here. You know, results vary, but I feel like he's gotta be up here, right? That one African cichlid beached itself trying to avoid me. So if I net coming this way and the branch doesn't get in my way, I might be able to pull up an African. Here, let's check his net. Those roots getting really annoying. Anybody? Any fishies in here? Oh, look. There's an angelfish in here. Oh, this one's got some super sick marbling color on it. Mmm, he looks good. Oh yeah, we're gonna get him in the keeper bucket for sure. Oh, oh, there he is. Guys, look, there he is. See if I can cut him off with his net. Look at him. He's trying to gasp for air. Actually, screw it. I'll just grab him with my hands. I think I can. Did I get him? I got him! No! Where did he go? He, oh, there he is. There he is. I got him. I got, no, wait. This isn't the... This isn't that Af oh, this one's albino. This isn't that African we saw earlier. We're still on the hunt for orange one. So they must be in the shallows. We'll get him in the keeper bucket. He's not looking too hot either. Okay, so now I think they might actually all be in the shallow end. Because it's probably where I'm disturbing the least. Maybe we just need to wait it out. Let them start to come to the surface for air. No, there he is. Look, there he is. He's literally dying right now. Oh my God. Look, he's struggling. Guys, look. Look, he's gasping for air. Come on, come on. In the net, in the net, yes! Did we get him? We got him! Oh, let's go. Oh, thank God. This is the one I saw. I'm not too sure. Wait, there he is. Look, see, this is the one we saw when we first came up here, guys. Look at him. Yeah, he, this is the one. Now, I'm not sure if he's the last one because we've been catching all sorts of colors now. But we're gonna get him in the keeper bucket right here. Get the air on real quick. Get them some fresh H, oh, I got new batteries in the car. Don't worry. We'll do another net deep in the middle. The fish are just starting to come up. I think they're finally starting to run out of oxygen. And I say finally just because that means I could actually see them and catch them. We're gonna really scrape the bottom of this thing. Try to speed this up because these fish really don't have much time. But we'll check this net, see what's good. Ugh. Oh, oh, let's go. I could see some angelfish off the top. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. We got two angelfish right here. Look at that. Two smaller angelfish. These guys are beautiful. We haven't caught any big ones in a long, long time. They're probably still in that other pond, but two angelfish added into the keeper bucket. Anything else hiding in the rubbish? Oh, yes, another angelfish. Oh, this one is so pretty. Look at that. His trailers are like yellow. That is a really pretty fish. But we're gonna get him in the bucket and keep netting around. Uh, oh my God, guys. I've been netting for like the next, it's been like 30 minutes since that last clip, since you guys last saw me. And I've been pulled up 
a single fish out of that pond. Like it's not even worth putting in a video because it was literally just nothing in those nets. But I think we actually successfully cleared out this puddle full of the fish. I haven't caught anything, nothing exotic, nothing invasive, nothing native, like literally nothing since that last clip. So we're gonna get everything packed up in the car, drive back down to that other pond and check our fish trap to see if we pulled anything up out of there. Oh man, it's so hot outside. <laughs> Florida weather's has been so brutal. Summer vibes in Florida. You can see the haze coming over the trees and shit. But we're gonna get them all packed up in the car and head on over to the monster fish pond. So now it's time to check the trap, guys. Oh, dude, look at, I think I saw a fish in there. I'm not seeing much. Let's see. Oh my God, oh, he broke the trap. Oh, the trap came off my little snap. Dude, he broke the trap. Guys, look, guys, look. Look right in here, guys. There's a tiger shovel nose catfish. Oh my God, guys, look. There's a tiger shovel nose in the fish trap. So now I gotta figure out how to actually get him out of this mess. Cause catfish are not very good when it comes to mesh and stuff. So I gotta figure out how, you know what we're gonna do guys? We're gonna just rip them straight out of this trap. This trap, he messed it up already getting into it. I don't really see any issue ripping this trap out to actually get him out of here and collect them. So I'm gonna rip the trap up get the fish out of the trap and get them in some water really fast because it's super hot outside so i'm gonna put you guys down that is so insane so right here we have half it oh no one of his spines are stuck oh no here i gotta try to rip him out i didn't see that oh boy please please free yourself please be free oh he's off he's off look at that guys his fins are so damaged from being in the trap but we're gonna pick him up right here and i'm gonna run him over into some water but look at that guys we got a tiger shovel nose catfish out of the monster fish pond. This one is beautiful. We're gonna try to get him on some air real quick and run him back to the house. All right guys, we're now back at the mini predator pond where we're going to be adding the catfish. Now it's going to be a good little grout for him for the time being. In this pond, we have some koi, some bigger catfish. Arnold and Marty are both alive and still doing well. We got a giraffe catfish in here, the Oscar, the koi, and the Paku. So this should be a great home for him for the time being until he grows out. And at some point, he'll be joining the absolute monsters in this pond once he's big enough. I'm not sure how long it'll take for him to actually gain enough size to get in here but we got some three to four foot catfish in here some monster iridescent sharks just some really really big fish so he will more than likely end up in this pond in time <laughs> look at this hybrid right here this hybrid shovel nose like just some absolute units in this pond i've got him in this little thing right here now i gotta try to figure out how to i gotta be careful of the spine and just like that guy oh just like that guy, he's added into the pond. Not the prettiest addition, you know, I could have been a little bit cleaner with it, but he's going to do great in this pond. We will see him at some point. Right now, he's just cruising through the bottom right there. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.